Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. I got something in my eye. Ah, I think I just pushed it up my nose. Is this thing on? Hello? Welcome everybody! Uh, that's uh, what Fazal says, and so it must be official. We we have to be live by uh, uh, a, by order of the king. We don't have a king. We're America. Uh, but welcome, everybody. Everybody, welcome. Uh, hello, Fazal, Team Wardo, Jenford, Anthony, Saris, Metallic, X Squink, Ed's Computer Support, Joe Izzard, Bentar, Yamazaru, Ninja, Simba, Poimo, April, Elise, Martin, Makaya, Stacy, Ferris. Uh, Robert Santalon, and Tech Guru, Brian M, Jack P, Sharp Claw. We had, you guys aren't going to believe this, about 20 Nomies sign up uh, yesterday and today after the announcement that um, Diana and I are going to be getting married uh, a week from today, uh, and we're going to be streaming the wedding live, uh, and Nomies are going to be able to uh, tune in. Uh, so everybody's invited, so, you know, as long as you're a Nomi, and everybody's invited to be a Nomi. So it's it still is everybody, by definition, everybody. Uh, so I, I'd imagine 20 of you signed up because you wanted to see us get married, and so uh, we certainly appreciate that. And hopefully you'll uh, stick around because there's much more where that came from, i got to tell you. Although it seems like, uh, I think at last count, 97 people decided to dislike the video, which I thought was just rather rude. You know, what kind of dick are you to do something like that? I don't know. There apparently are people out there who dislike things, uh, and I can only imagine they don't have much of a life at all. will probably never be in a state to be married, even if they're in a state where they could legally marry their right hand. They're probably never going to do it. So uh, keep on doing what you do. We appreciate everybody who is supporting us. I raise my glass of water to you. And welcome all the new Nomis here in chat, and welcome everybody here who is, uh, you know, talking here on YouTube, including Sackwack, MyBus19, PaulCroft77, IBM ThinkPad R51. I love that handle. That's a great handle. I mean, it's a very, it's a very specific computer. I don't even know if it's a new computer, if it's an old computer, but it's very. That's quite specific. I would say. Uh, but thank you for uh, uh, spending your Friday or deciding to spend your Friday with us here on TLDR Live, the Locker Gnome Daily Report. And uh, speaking of Locker Gnome, you know what we do now. We invite you to look at LockerGnome.com. Uh, look at one of the links that's in the, the video's description here uh, because I'm about to look at live stats to see how many of you are tuned in right now live during the live broadcast. Uh, looking at LockerGnome.com to get a read on the top 10 countries there. So uh, I'll give you a, a minute or so uh, to head up uh, to head over to a LockerGnome.com link. I'd hope you check out all of them. Of course, if you like them, feel free to plus one, like, and share, and tweet, and do whatever you, you need to do to get the word out. Speaking of, I'm going to go ahead and post an update on my Facebook wall. I'll also send out a tweet, and I am also going to like my video. Uh, I need all the likes I can get, and it's the easiest way to get a plus one for the video, just like James Swanson, Sean Jordan, Skyler Johnson, Stacey Ferris, and Brian Miner have done. They were the first five to like this live video. Congratulations, guys. Let's go ahead and plus one at two. Plus one at two. Is that a plus two? And, and say yo-ho-ho and a bottle of Friday. It's actually just a glass of water uh and later on tonight uh we we do have date night although tonight's date night is and that's you're not invited to that sorry nobody is really it's just between diane and myself on fridays uh we're going to be helping a small business actually a series of small businesses make their web pages better and i'm going to record that audio file so that Nomi's will be able to listen to it so anybody who's got a website that is geared towards a local presence 
or a hyperlocal market, uh, they would probably want to listen to that once that uh, audio file is uploaded. That is the game plan. Hopefully, it will go off without a hitch. Next week, we hope to get hitched. This week, hoping tasks happen without a hitch. Uh, Flame of Anger Shadow says, Hey, Chris, just tuned in. Well, I'm glad you did. Welcome aboard. Uh, and welcome... Oh, Danny Harrington's here, too. Missed him. A.E. Parker. Jamie Bouch. Uh, and if I missed any other Nomi's who are in chat, I'm sure they will remind me uh, very kindly. Nomi yet here. The Fem Geek indeed is uh, is there on the YouTube. I, she, she's not in the chat room. We have, uh, uh, by the way, a, a few... I think we have a couple of DJs who are part of Nomi's, inclu including... Uh, April Elise Martin, uh, and I, I, April, correct me if I'm wrong, you do trance music, and I think she's going to be streaming that uh, in another few days, I think possibly next week, or the week after. Uh, Robert Santillan is a, a new Nomi, he's in the house, uh, he had a, he had some snags getting signed up, but he, he bared with us, uh, and so uh, you know, he, 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 he uh, was able to appreciate the work that we did to help get him going. We had some issues with uh, websites, in, including... Um, over the weekend, I should let you know, we're going to be moving uh, some of our websites over to a new web host. So if you catch any snags over the weekend, let me know immediately. My email address, chris at perlo.com. We're going to be moving over uh, chris.perlo.com, lockernome.com, and nomies.com. They're going to a new web host, a faster web host, and a more stable web host. So I'm feeling a little chapped. Oh, uh, there's got to be a word for this. Come here, Wicket. Come here. Come here. Your lips are chapped. There you go. <laughs> Hopefully that's not poisonous. No, it isn't. It's all natural that I know of. Hang on, let me... Yeah, it's fine. He's trying to figure it out. He's like, what the heck? What? He'll eat anything. Including chapstick that broke off. What? What's the word? There's got to be a word for that. Not over chap, but you know when like a little chunk of chapstick breaks off? I hate that. Well, chapstick's the brand name. Lip balm. When lip balm breaks off, what, what would that be called? You know, there's a lot of weird words. Uh, in fact, let's do, let's do an, a video here. I, I, we've got we're a little short on articles today, uh, but uh, let's go ahead and uh, do a, our first video on a word that I, I think you guys all need to know of, which I think is hilarious. All right, uh, are you ready? So, before we started doing this video, during the beginning of the live TLDR broadcast, I put on some lip balm and had some extra lip balm. What's the word for when you're putting on lip balm and a little chunk breaks off and then you got it sitting on your lip? What is that? Can we get a word? A crusticle? That kind of sounds disgusting. Uh, you know, there are words for just about anything, at least in the English language, and... I don't know if you knew about this word that I heard about a couple weeks ago, and first I thought it was a joke, but it's not. Nomophobia. Nomophobia is a word. Now, it's not spelled like locker gnome, G-N-O-M-E, with the G being silent. It's spelled N-O-M-O-P-H-O-B-I-A. Nomophobia is, and I'm not kidding, there's a page on Wikipedia, and I'll read you the entry, the fear of of being out of mobile phone contact. The term, an abbreviation for no mobile phone phobia, was coined during a study by the UK Post Office who commissioned YouGov, a UK-based research organization, to look at anxiety suffered by mobile phone users. The study found that nearly 53% of mobile phone users in Britain tend to be anxious when they lose their mobile phone, run out of battery or credit, or have no network coverage. 58%! Or 53%, 58% of men and 48% of women suffer from the phobia. An additional 9% feel stressed when their mobile phones are off. So, uh, nomophobia. It's apparently a re not gnomes or nomies. No mo. No mobile. Do you suffer from nomophobia? Have you ever felt anxious? I know I get frustrated when I can't get online, and I know I have a, 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 a device that could get online if I'd only have access to the internet. Uh, when I'm, you know, getting on a flight, I'll usually say I'm bored on the plane. You know, you board the plane, you're bored. 
you board the plane. B O R E D B O A R D. It's a play on words. It's a it's a homophone for those of you who weren't familiar with the spellings and why that might be funny. So uh, <clears throat> I don't know what fears you have. Uh, I have a fear of spiders, and apparently I, I have nomophobia as well. Being locker gnome, I have a, a fear. Uh, Diana has a fear of pandas. Uh, what, what, what's your fears, guys? Uh, do you have fears that just freeze you? You know, lock you in place. You can't do anything until you can get over whatever it is that you're afraid of. Uh, is it nomophobia? Do you suffer from this? And what is the word for when you're putting on lip balm and a piece breaks off and sits on your lip? That's it. That's pretty good. Looks like Oran 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 Lynch one says I'm watching on Windows eight. Oh, cool! He's watching the the stream on Windows eight. Apparently, it works. It's good. Hopefully, I'm not going to give you one of those newfangled uh, blue screens of death. Uh, let's see here, white lab coat syndrome. Is that real? Fear of acta, actophobe. Fear of dislikers on YouTube. And God. Uh, the word is fluganar. Flug I, I saw something. It said fluganar. Found about right. I gave it to Wicket. Is, do you still see him? No, he went. Wicket! He went to go sleep. Come here! It's his nap time. I, I don't think giving him the chapstick would have hurt. Probably, he's probably just sleeping, isn't he? He went downstairs? We're keeping an eye on our dog because I gave him chaps. Or, I'm sorry. That's the brand name. Just like Kleenex is a brand name. Google is a brand name. You can Google something on Bing. You ever try doing that? The internet explodes if you do, don't ever Google something on Bing. Ever. That's your final warning. Okay, cool. Hey, Wiki, why don't you stay in here, bud? Yeah. It'd be great to have you hanging out here during the broadcast. He's a quick Google... No, don't do it, Volamute! All right, let's roll with uh, one of our first articles on Locker Gnome here. Uh, it's a good one. How not to install Windows XP in 2012. Wow. 12 years ago. <sighs> Such a long time. Are you ready, baby? I learned one thing when I uh, was uh, doing a video last week about Windows XP and upgrading. Uh, a lot of you still use Windows XP. Kind of shocked me. I, ha I mean, I guess happily. I didn't realize you, you loved it that much. Um, I, I just thought that an operating system that's probably older than half the audience wouldn't be used still, being over a decade old. I mean, it's kind of getting up there, got to admit. As far as OSs go, it's a bit decrepit, long in the tooth. I mean, it certainly still does work. Uh, but for those of you having to face the hurdle of needing to, say, reinstall Windows XP today, uh, especially if you're dealing with different hardware than you had 10 or so years ago, uh, you know, there's some potential pitfalls you can avoid uh, when you're going to reinstall, or maybe even install for the first time, uh, Windows XP today, or, you know, some point from this point forward. Uh, so we've got a good experience to share with you. How not to install Windows XP in 2012. Uh, Harold uh, Johnson, who is uh, one of our new contributors to Locker Gnome, uh, and we're always looking for new contributors, uh, posted his story of what happened when he went to uh, install or reinstall Windows XP. And if you learn nothing from his experiences, then you should at least know that there are people out there who may need to reinstall Windows XP. They're not ready to upgrade to Vista. 
They don't want 7. They're afraid of Windows 8. They're still on XP, and a lot of you are, and probably still very happy with it. So uh, take a look at his tale, and, you know, I'd be curious to know, uh, when was the last time you guys installed or reinstalled Windows XP? Uh, you know, I, I thought... I thought everybody had moved on, but I was wrong. How many Gnomies still use Windows XP back here? Uh, it's just a curiosity. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it, just like Jenford T., Alex Piero, Skylar Johnson, Jamie Bouch, and Brian Miner has done, and uh, also tweet it and like it as well. I hope you do too, uh, if only because I know that, according to a lot of the feedback we got in the video from a couple weeks ago, there are a lot of XP users still in our audience. Yay. <sighs> what social media users can learn from Justin Bieber? This one's going to be... Are you ready? It was uh, a day I'll never forget. Uh, a few months ago, uh, I, won't for I won't even forget what I was wearing at the time. It was t-shirt, jeans, socks, underwear... Um, Diana uh, came to me and she said I I think I like Justin Bieber and uh, I was kind of dumbfounded uh, I didn't know what to do with this information really I mean what, what do you say when your significant other whom you adore uh, dearly tells you this news uh, I I uh, I, uh, I dealt with it uh, after many uh, hours of counseling uh, and uh, really coming to terms with... <laughs> it's a joke. I mean, the, the, the part that's not a joke... Diana, did you not say, I think I like Justin Bieber? Yeah, after I watched his documentary. She watched the documentary. I didn't even know he had a documentary. Yeah. I thought, the first time I heard Justin Bieber on the radio, I thought he was a girl. <laughs> I was like, oh, it's Imogene Heap. <laughs> She's like... No, it's Justin Bieber. I'm like, no, I'm pretty... Wait, what? So, uh, Justin Bieber can teach you a thing or two. Not just about drumming and rhythm and singing and, and making it big. Uh, that man knows how to use social media. And we've outlined a few ways that you might learn a lesson from uh, the Beeb, as uh, I like to call him. Actually, I don't like to call him anything. Uh, do not listen to his music. This is not an endorsement in any way, shape, or form. Sorry to disappoint any uh, Justin Bieber fans out there. Uh, but a few tips. One, be an early adopter. And I think a lot of people in our community are early adopters anyway. Uh, geeks like trying things first. Uh, Justin was certainly uh, an early adopter, especially on Twitter. Man, that he knew how to work it. Oh, he knew how to work it. And he did. And obviously, it worked. Uh, another thing he did, uh, knew who his audience was. So I am not in Justin's demographic. Probably will never be. Uh, but he knew who he should be directing his music to. And you know what? It worked. Diana, a uh, young girl. Legal, young, and female. Uh... That was his audience. Uh, another thing, he created the content for the audience. And another thing, he made the audience want to share his content. So, you know, as, as we produce content on LockerGnome.com, this is where the, the article is. Feel free to look at it. It's in the uh, description for this particular video. I'm going to go ahead and plus one it before I forget. I uh, hope you do as well. Uh, we try to customize our content that we produce either on YouTube or on LockerGnome.com to our greater audience, and it is a great audience. But one of the reasons we ask you what you want to see and we ask for questions is that way we know what kind of content to deliver to you. We've discovered that you know sharing technology uh, perspectives and information is valuable. It, it seems to be what a lot of people like. Uh, you know, for, for doing things on YouTube or on LockerGnome.com, things like, like this, this particular article. Uh, we learned that you wanted to see more behind-the-scenes stuff with what we do. That's one of the reasons why we created Nomies. So we are creating things based on what we see 
you want. <clears throat> and of course, that doesn't mean that <clears throat> we're going to listen to everybody. If you if you uh, don't like everything we do, I, well, I'd wonder why you even watched this far into this video. Uh, hang on just a second. Sorry. <clears throat> For some reason, something in my throat. <clears> okay, <throat> I'm getting a little choked up. I like Justin. I admit it. I listen to his music. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell anyone. He also forgot to mention the perfume he directed towards. Oh, that's right. He did the perfume. It sold like crazy. I need to make a perfume. You do. Call the Oda. <laughs> and people would still buy it. Canceling account. <laughs> no, why? <laughs> no, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, U version one Bible app covers all versions. This just looks like hell. Uh, I'm gonna figure out how to play this off without offending everybody. Oh, we didn't look at the Google Analytics. Um, all right, everybody visiting Locker Room. I forgot to do this earlier. Uh. U.S. is still number one by far. U.K., Canada, third place today. Australia, Philippines, Austria, Denmark, Estonia, Mexico, and Netherlands. Sorry, Portugal. You fail in a big, fat way. Uh, you came in at number 11. Sorry. I told you guys to be like browsing along with me as I said these things. I gave you a chance, a fighting chance. It's not like this is the first time I've done something like that. By the way, thank you for the almost 100 likes for this video, the live video. And if you don't know where the like button is for this video, or the plus one button, you got to be looking at the video's page itself. If that doesn't make any sense, like, you know how you see a, a YouTube video on a, a, a normal page? You've got to see it on its normal page. Normal. You can't look at it as the channel page. I was kidding about the Justin Bieber thing, or was I? going to leave them in the balance there. You know, oh, what's going on? I don't know. My whole life is upside down. Uh, all right. Are you ready? I uh, grew up in a Catholic family, and uh, people have asked me what my religion is, and I am not really a follower of any kind of religion. I think they all have great I ideals uh, and, and ethical codes, really, to follow. And in many ways, they're all basically the same. Uh, you know, be nice to other people is kind of what it boils down to. I mean, certainly there are some differences and extremes in every religion. Uh... You know, I, I think I, I dislike religious intolerance more than I dislike religion. Uh, so I don't care what you believe in. I, I really don't. I, I genuinely do not care. Uh, so long as you believe in it and you, you follow what it is that you say that you believe in. Um, as long as you are true to yourself and you recognize that religion is not genetic, uh, I think we'll get along swimmingly. So... I know there are uh, people who uh, have a wide variety of religions in our audience. Uh, one of those uh, happens to be Ron, who writes for Locker Gnome, and he wrote about uh, an app that is, is all the Bibles in one app. Uh, yes, there's more than one The Bible. Uh, I, I hope I'm not the first one to break it to you. Uh, the Bible that you know um, is probably a lot like another Bible that someone else knows. Um, it's kind of boil, boils down to interpretations of Scripture, uh, and, and, and sometimes um, that could lead to wars and arguments that are pointless. Don't really get us anywhere. Can't we get back to the whole root thing of, hey, we're alive, we love life, uh, you know, let's do some good things together, Amen. That, that would just be great. I think that would be a religion I could probably follow. Uh, and there's a lot of them out there that, that say just that. Of course, then you get the extremists who t interpret you know, one thing or another. In any religion, every single world religion 
has its extremists. Every single one of them. Uh, and, and they really uh, give a bad name to everybody else who happens to, uh, you know, I would say support religion for good. Uh, and I, I mean, for the betterment of our human condition. So, uh, you know, I've been asked, you know, Chris, what religion are you? Well, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter what I believe in because it's my life. Um, you could ask me, uh, and I would answer you as, uh, as I would anybody else. Um, mind your own business, uh, or it does it really matter, uh, or um, why do you want to know? Uh, what, what's, the, what's the point? Um, I don't ask you uh, for a reason because uh, religion is a, a personal uh, it, it's not. Uh, it, it's not really for me uh, to ask you about. Uh, it's not for you to ask me about. Or you really to ask anybody else about. Uh, nor is it fine for you to diminish the value of another human life because they happen to follow another religion. If you follow a religion as well, well, it stands to reason that you know you'd have to be tolerant of other people who father, follow other religions. But I found that religious people tend to be the most intolerant people on the planet. Typically, not not every one of them, uh, certainly, uh, and, and I think we all mean well, uh, but it doesn't always come across that way. So all I hope is that you're a good human being. That's that's really the bottom line. I, I don't care about what religion. I don't care which Bible you choose, because there are many of them. There are, uh, and they're all available apparently in this app called U Version. It it shocks people when they realize there's more than one Bible. They're like, what? I no, yeah. <laughs> Hello! Um, you know, one religion's borrowed from another religion's borrowed from another religion's borrowed from another religion. It's all the same thing, guys. I I hate saying it. And you know what? I'm probably going to lose some extremists. And you know what? Godspeed. <sighs> See? Eight versions. I want the the one, wh yeah, which Bible do I want? I don't know which Bible. I want the Jedi Bible. That's the one I want. That may, The Jedi Bible makes sense. Because what other religion you can you pick up shit with your mind? Stuff with your mind. You can't do it. That Can, you, can we go back? Can we erase that? <laughs> Oops. Uh, so, uh, are we ready to, to go into this next one? Are you responding to Facebook? Nope. Are more people congratulating us for the wedding? <laughs> yes. So many emails came in. My God. We got a few donations, too. I'm very happy. That's gonna, that is going to help cover our costs because we do have to spend a little bit of money, even though it's a small ceremony. What's that? They're chipping in for our honeymoon. They're chi you're helping us with our honeymoon. Thank you. You're helping. Every little bit, trust me, every little bit always helps. So uh, let's go ahead and do another one. Let's see here. Um, I'm a new Nomi. How do I get... In the chat room over there, it, the information's in your Nomi's dashboard. It always is. Okay, you ready, honey? <laughs> Stop making me laugh. <laughs> now let's do it again. <laughs> you ready? You know what I am? I'm a consumer. But will I flock? Because I'm flying. To Windows 8? It's a question that's on everybody's minds. Okay, maybe not everybody. A lot of people, at least those in our community. Uh, you've now tried potentially the developer preview and the consumer preview that Microsoft has released for free for you to test on your own computer. And I got to tell you, uh, you know, I'm not the type of person to say, I, I, I told you so, but I told you so. Uh, I, I said, how many weeks or months ago did I said that it's a, it's a, a mistake to bifurcate the user experience? How, when, when was that? How long ago did I say it's, it's an asinine uh, way to go uh, to split Metro and Arrow within the same operating system in the same experience? How long ago did I say that? It's been a while. But now people who are testing the consumer uh, preview are saying the same thing. Uh, they're saying, what, what is this? Like, make up your mind, Windows. Do you want to be Metro or do you want to be Arrow? How long ago? 300 months ago. It, it was a while back. As soon as I realized, uh, this ain't right. Um, but Microsoft thinks it's right. Uh, I, I, I disagree. 
I think that's going to hurt them in the long run. I don't think uh, that consumers are going to be very happy with that dramatic of a change. A Windows needs to evolve. It needs to grow. But it needs to also let people feel comfortable with that growth. Uh, take, for example, my parents, who freak out if an icon is on the other side of the desktop. I kid you not. My dad called me up screaming one day, Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Dad, just look. Oh, it's in your start. I don't want it in the start menu. Okay, we just, we'll put it, we'll put it on the desktop, Dad. Well, yes, it needs to go on the desktop. Free. It was an icon. A shortcut to a program that he already had five shortcuts to. It, I, 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 I could, I, this, I was dumbfounded. Just like now, I could not even, the words could not explain how I just didn't understand. I'm like, it's the same thing. You just get to it from a different. Most people are like my dad. Not like geeks who just, oh yeah, point, click, easy, boom, boom, boom. And even then, some geeks are like, no, I don't like change. Mm, no change. It has to be the same. Mm, I want it new, but it has to be the same. Can't do that, really. Uh, and if you're using your computer like you were 10 years ago, wow. Uh, software has evolved. Uh, I mean, just a bit. And a lot of people are, uh, I would say, jarred uh, with what they've experienced with Windows 8. So hopefully, hopefully, you'll send feedback to Microsoft to tell them, uh, you ain't doing it right. Something's wrong. Uh, and I can't, and I know I'm not the only one. Who feels this way? Uh, we, you know, have kind of been watching the feedback that's come in, uh, watching social media, watching Nomi's, watching your feedback on YouTube, asking the greater question, will consumers flock to Windows 8? Uh, this is the article linked in the description. Take a look. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and plus one it before I forget. Uh, talking about the consumer preview specifically, uh, you know, talking about expectations and our experiences and perspectives on those expectations uh, as we've seen them kind of unfold in using this new product. Uh, it's it's going to be interesting to see what happens. But if Microsoft rolls forward with this experience, which is very disjointed, very haphazard, not ready for prime time, my prediction, much like Vista pushed a lot of people to OS X and Linux, Windows 8 could very well do the same thing. Don't shoot the messenger. Look at history. Look at every example that you've seen before and apply it to today's scenario. You'd see the same thing. Not that you would want it to happen. I don't want it to happen. I can't wait to see Windows 8 in a touch experience so long as I stay within Metro. I don't want to see Arrow ever if I'm playing in Metro. Likewise, uh, or, or, or I guess I should say uh, uh, the corollary, or I guess the opposite, would be if I was in Arrow, or the Arrow experience, A-E-R-O experience, I would never want to see Metro. That's all we're asking for. One or the other. Not both. We shall see. We shall see. Oh, did Bob get the backlink? Bob, I think, was having computer problems. Uh, I don't f think so. Uh, I think Bob was having computer problems. I, I could be mistaken. Um, for the Nomi of the day, the Fem Geek. Because she she commented on YouTube too, and I got her, and then oh, she comes in chat. Uh, I'm a Mac user, though I do have to do have a PC, but I've only upgraded my PC to handle Windows 7. If I put 8 on it, it might blow up. I I want to try Windows 8, but only when I can try it in a, a, a virtual environment, knowing that it's going to be buggy. Uh, it's a controlled environment, and I'll just keep it nice and and comfortable that way, nice and happy. Uh, so congrats. The Femme Geek, welcome to Mile High. Yeah, kind of. Um, so, honey, oh, honey, she, she's left the room. That's not her name. Only I can call her honey. No one else, by the way, has the the ability to call her honey. 
Uh, just seeing where you were there, baby. Honey, baby sweetie, poopy. <laughs> Wi-Fi. <laughs> Wi-Fi. Yeah, we were coming up for nicknames for our, uh, for each other. So her new nickname is Wi-Fi. Because wife, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi. I wife, no, Wi-Fi. And we don't have a nickname for me yet, really. Gonna puke here. Oh, yes. Sorry, Stacy. <laughs> Say, go get a room. We're in a room. Yeah. Uh, I've just joined to be a Nomi. Well, congratulations. Welcome aboard. I'm not exactly sure who said that there. Don't get the vaccine. I don't know what that means. Uh, congrats to Chris and Diana. Thank you. And, and thank you, by the way, for the uh, 127 likes for this video. We certainly do appreciate that support as well. Uh, you should be the little one. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Chris, are you hoping there will be less editions of Windows 8 compared to the six available versions of Windows 7? Actually, I believe there are eight versions of Windows 8 on the horizon. Microsoft. Why? Why? It's like they try to make things more difficult. They go out of their way to be difficult. Why is it? Can't they just make it simple? No, don't you know? The Latin for Microsoft is to make overly complex and confusing. Eight. Yeah, I swear that's what I saw. The uh, I saw that too. Uh, I saw a, a Windows 8 editions. Yeah, let's see here. Nine! Sorry, my bad. Nine editions, potentially. All right, you ready to do a... You ready to do a... A video? <clears throat> Microsoft Windows Enterprise Edition, Microsoft Windows Enterprise Eval Edition, Microsoft Windows Home Basic Edition, Microsoft Windows Home Premium Edition, Microsoft Windows ARM Edition, Microsoft Windows Pre-Release Edition, Microsoft Windows Professional Edition, Microsoft Windows Professional Plus Edition, Microsoft Windows Starter Edition, and Microsoft Windows Ultimate Edition. Granted, not all of those would be around forever, specifically those with pre-release in the, their title. But uh, as uncovered by my friend Tim Stevens over at Engadget, uh, apparently there may be up to nine flavors of uh, Windows 8 on the horizon. As opposed to Windows 7 with six, now there's eight. Starter, Home Basic, Home Premium, Professional, Professional Plus, Enterprise, Enterprise, Eval, Ultimate, ARM Edition. Which one is for you? Uh, well, I would say for the most part, it's whatever Windows comes with the computer that you buy. It's just so it's so confusing. Well, I, I do they are they trying to make this more difficult than it needs to be? Now, granted, at least I can understand it. enterprise. Okay, probably not for the home user. But what's the difference between home basic and home premium, or home premium and professional, or professional plus? And ultimate, a dizzying array of features. Why can't they just make one version of Windows and just let you buy in to the features that you want for your install? Why not do it that way? Keep it nice and affordable, one solid price point, and then just add, boom, 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 boom. You're an enterprise? Fine. You can buy site licenses. Boom, 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 boom. You've got one edition of Windows, but you want to add this feature, but you don't care about that feature. Fine. You don't need to buy that feature. But not with Windows 8. With Windows 8, it's 9. Well, what do you guys think? Uh, <clears throat> just the right way to go? <clears throat> you know, Do you like that variety? Uh, it, has it been clear to you in the past what the different editions can do for you and the real differences between one and another? Are you satisfied with your version of Windows and do you know that you're getting the best Windows experience as, as possible? Your computer may be able to handle an ultimate edition, yet you're on home basic. Yeah, and yes, you can upgrade. Absolutely. But it's just so confusing. It is. What is it about Microsoft that makes them want to make things more confusing than they need to be? Why? Why? Frack! I agree. 
Confusion equals money. That's about right. That is right. Anthony, you got it right there, too. Dills. Well, I like dill pickles, so I wouldn't... I wouldn't I'm not going to yeah. slag dills, really. It's too complicated. Why... It's like Microsoft's trying to hurt themselves, and everyone's seeing, "Hey, dude, you're doing you're doing it wrong." No, I'm fine. Ah, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. And I'm fine. I'm bleeding a little, but I'm fine. And you try to stop them. Take the scissors out of your hands. Lol, I was listening to the Windows 8 demo as he was getting mad. Whoa. <laughs> I scared him. Kind of scared myself a little there, too. So, uh, <laughs> thanks. I don't need a suicide hotline. Although, if I had to choose between all those flavors of Windows, I don't know, I'd probably contemplate it. Um, we do have... Uh, uh, oh! F Forbes? Forbes linked back to us? Really? Uh, oh, no, that was just a Hacker News uh, post. Uh, MarcoMan.wordpress.com is the backlink of the day. Very nice. Very nice indeed. Uh, writing about uh, social media judo. And uh, I was very happy that he linked back to Locker Gnome because I, I wrote the pre uh, preface or the, uh, <laughs> the introduction uh, for that book. Uh, 146 likes? Really? Wow. That makes me happy. Uh, and on LockerGnome.com, uh, we have, uh, we have quite a few visitors today. Uh, although Friday afternoon tends to be a little lower, a lot of you guys are looking at the Windows 8 article, so we know that that one's going to be a popular one. You're also looking at the XP article. Uh, you're look, still looking at yesterday's Android article. Uh, you're also looking at Apple, uh, PayPal Apple fraud policies, which was just fleshed out, uh, today. Uh, in fact, Matt, uh, if you're listening... If you want to jump onto TeamSpeak, possibly pop into a separate room, uh, business channel, or I guess locker room only, uh, and we can talk about an update uh, to what had happened with the uh, um, uh, PayPal and Apple. That'd be really cool. Um, thank you. Uh, and Matt should be able to drop in there, theoretically, if he's listening. I don't know if Matt's tuned in right now, though. Does anybody know if Matt's tuned in? Let's see here. Matt... You around. I'm asking by old way of chat. You may not be watching because we're all busy. It, locker room, we keep things kind of moving along. But there is an update, a very positive update, by the way, uh, to um, uh, the the PayPal fraud uh, that had happened. And basically because of our story, Apple and PayPal may be changing their policies. You guys helped make that happen. And so I want to make sure uh, we, uh, we cover that. Um, Matt, hang on, I'm dragging him into... I'm dragging him into another room. He he doesn't know. Hey Matt, are you there? Dang it. He's moving his bed. He's still moving his bed? <laughs> Wasn't that like Monday? It may have been we may have to push this uh we may have to push this uh, particular video off until Monday, but I definitely want to get Matt on to talk about it. Uh, if only because uh, you guys helped make it happen. So thank you for uh, sharing that link because I asked you to very uh, nicely uh, and uh, you guys were, were able to, to, to help. Um, get on TS. Uh, there we go. We've got him. Apparently he was in the living room. Are you still in the living room? Matt, Matt. Uh, hello. Did, I, did, did you have to run across your mansion there to get to the uh, computer? Yeah, something like that. Diana thought you were still moving your bed. Oh, no, we got rid of that. Which, by the way, is the world's worst excuse. Don't ever... <laughs> I'm kidding. I know that wasn't a... Never mind. <laughs> so, uh, I was hoping you'd be able to talk about uh, an update on uh, PayPal and Apple, uh, if only because you extended the article... Uh, to talk about the experiences after the fact, and I thought it would be very, very good to let people know that Apple was listening. Oh, absolutely! In fact, I got a, uh, I got a phone call. Uh, okay, hang on, dude. Next... Save it. <laughs> We're gonna do a video. Oh, okay. 
Don't 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 just you just don't want to drain yourself. We'll, we'll get you staged here, and then you can share the story. All right, ready? Here we go. So uh, the other day, we had shared an article and a story from one of our uh, contributors, Matt Ryan, of how he almost uh, was uh, going to have his Apple account shut down because of some PayPal fraud, and. Nobody at that point was responding. We brought in Matt uh, by way of an audio feed through TeamSpeak that we use for Nomi's, uh, and he explained in the video exactly what was going on. Well, because you guys helped us get the word out, we actually got a hold of uh, PayPal and Apple. They got a hold of Matt and said, hey, we saw the article. Something's definitely amiss. And to the point where because you helped share that article... We got the problem resolved, not just for Matt, but potentially for other people who may have run into this issue or might run into this issue in the future. Uh, so, Matt, uh, could you give us an update uh, exactly, you know, what had happened and, and what uh, what's coming of this? Well, sure. Uh, the day after I posted the article, um, and it actually was on, on the top of Hacker News for, for man, many hours, thanks to the community uh, voting that up, uh, I got a call from Apple, and they said, the first thing they said was, we saw your blog post. And I was like, oh, no, am I in trouble? Um, and they were really nice about it. And they said, well, actually, it brought it a, a really serious issue to our attention. We didn't realize that this was going on. Um, and this was a, in a different department than the one that, that had handled my problem before. And, well, I explained my case. And they explained that the problem was that um, basically they were having a ping pong match with PayPal back and forth and things were being resubmitted that didn't need to be and it was causing the issue but they had their management team note my account and make a note of the situation so that they could solve it in the future the next day I get a call from PayPal and the same thing they they said they saw the blog post they explained uh, the internal workings of the issue and I, I put it all in the blog in an update uh, but what was most important is I asked each of them, what if I didn't have a blog? What if, you know, all I could do was call customer service? What, what can somebody do? Well, on Apple's end, they explain that you can do a written request and it does go to a human being. Um, but on PayPal's side, they said their, their upper management team was actually going to have a meeting with Apple and see if they can figure out a way to keep this from ever happening again to anyone else. And that blew me away. That, that did more than solve my issue. And it, it, it kind of justified all the people that left comments on the article saying, this has happened to me. And they see the comments, they're responding to them, and it's a win in my book. You know, uh, when Matt first, uh, he, he, I think it was an instant message, he said, you know, I, 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 I may lose my Apple account, he said, but I probably shouldn't write about it. I'm like, are you kidding? Write it up, dude. Get it out there. I said, make it thorough. You know, be, you know, explain everything. You know, I, I don't know if I, I said keep as much emotion out of it as you can. I mean, sometimes it can be a bit of a challenge, especially when you're faced, you know, losing an account, you know, through no fault of your own. But I, I told Matt to do it because these are the types of stories uh, that ultimately matter and can absolutely make a difference. When you share what's happened to you and you're thorough, you can't just say, uh, company X sucks and not explain what happened and expect that you're going to get any kind of resolution. Um, you know, Matt, you did things the right way. And, and I think both Apple and PayPal responded appropriately. And if anything, I, I would just say, I, I would extend this opportunity for anybody who's in the locker room community that's had, uh, you know, maybe problems with Apple or PayPal and this to the same degree or any company locker room could be your platform to get attention. Uh, and we're more than happy to do that for you, especially if you have a full story with details, uh, because that's what you need, especially if you're making a case to help get to a human being on the other side. We're more than happy to do that. Matt, you said you uh, you updated that uh, the article. We'll go ahead and link it in the description. What did you add? Well, basically, I explained what was said by, by each party um, and how the conversation went, also what resolution they came up for me. Um, on, on Apple's side, they... They put a note in my account that basically guaranteed that I wouldn't lose uh, my access to my... They actually told me how many things I'd purchased from them, 260 plus wow. um, I, uh, apps that I had bought. Um, so they, they said those are all secure. And on PayPal side, they, uh, they flagged my account to make sure that it's in good standing. Um, and they actually, they actually offered a courtesy, um, which I didn't expect and I didn't ask for. 
so, you know, to me, they did a good job. But I think more importantly, in the long run, uh, each company made promises that they're having meetings in the management teams to make sure that this doesn't happen in the future. And that's the most important takeaway from the situation. You know, Matt, I'm very glad that this experience, as much as it was, was a, a bit harrowing, uh, I'm glad that the experience it, it could benefit people who have no idea who you are or who we are. Exactly. Cool. Sweetness. Got about 10 minutes or so. Uh, kudos to Apple and PayPal acting. Exactly. Uh, 260. 260 what? What's 260? Nine? No, we only have 160. Jamie's off by 100. <laughs> I would like that, but... All right, here's what I'm going to do. I want to go down and get a glass of water, and when I come back, uh, there there should be more likes. Okay, ready? I bet you anything that the video gets more likes when I'm... Should I show them the shirt that we share? Yeah, you can show them the shirt we share. I'll be back in a second. Okay. Or do you want me to get the water? No, I can get it. Are you gonna show the shirt? Yeah. Hey guys, so this is the shirt that Chris and I share. And how's everyone doing? I don't see any comments. Uh, Chris went to go get some water, but he'll be right back. Does the Nomi's have any questions? <laughs> yes, Chris changed a bit. <laughs> yeah, Chris actually wore this shirt in one of his videos, so you could probably see it. But let me go check on him, make sure he's okay. Oh, I was coming to check on you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine. I didn't faint. <laughs> Just need water, that's all. Uh, <clears throat> all right, more likes. We only had 14 more likes. Um. You should have sat up here longer. Uh, no, I don't think we're going to share that shirt anymore. It's got, it's it's like this. The shoulders are funky. It's a female shirt, and apparently females have different shoulders, or my shoulders are too big, one of the two. Yeah. Oh, what, what about the cinnamon challenge? We never got that, that many. How many. What did we say for the cinnamon challenge? 300 likes. 300 likes, I think is what it was. Yeah, and we haven't, we haven't hit that since, so can't do it. Sorry. Tried. Actually, I didn't try at all. <laughs> um, hang on. Let's go ahead and... Un I'm not going to unbox water. Uh, any questions uh, before we wind down here over the, the last seven minutes? Don't forget to be awesome. That, that might be a challenge. Don't use her for a scarecrow. <laughs> uh, hey, Ben, apologize if I keep disconnecting on IRC on Android. Harold, any damage to your house? Ooh, must be from the, the tornado that was going through today. I got the family package. My kids are all know me, says Dr. Leeds. Ha <laughs> ha, that's funny. We should make a family package, huh? Yeah. What do you guys think? A know me's family a discount? Yes. Family pack? <laughs> On the Facebook pa page, we have 300 registered know me's. Yeah, uh, there are more than just uh, 300, though. Um, we've got, like, close to 375. Hopefully everybody's going to be in our Google Plus circle, the Nomi's Google Plus circle. Although when I have the Nomi's Google Plus circle, just so you know, anybody can add you. And hopefully people do. Make sure you delete your old Nomi's circle before you add the new one. Uh, because there are some Nomi's who have dropped out. And, you know, they, they shouldn't get the credit for being a Nomi. Because if they're no longer a Nomi, you can't really... Um, so I know that we're going to be doing... I'm planning on doing a hangout at some point this weekend. I just don't know when. We're going to be pretty busy. Diane and I are going to be pretty busy tomorrow. Diana and I are also going to be live streaming tomorrow while we're doing our uh, shopping for the wedding. Uh, so all the Nomi's can tune into the... the uh, if you go to the wedding page, that's basically got the same embed uh, for uh, the, the wedding video. It'll also, It's also the live stream video. Uh, so you can wa just watch that uh, as a registered Nomi. Um, so we do behind-the-scenes vlogging sometimes. And, that, and then hopefully the Hangout on Sunday. Sunday may end up being the, the Hangout. It's not going to be in bed, Adam. In bed? Embed. <laughs> Embed, not in bed. Adam. 
Shay, 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 shame on you. That's an old, for a tech TV blooper. Shay, shay, shame. Uh, how do you find out when your subscription needs renewing as you have removed the plan I was on? Uh, don't change it. <laughs> don't change, if I've removed it, the monthly plan's gone, don't change it. Uh, that would be a problem. Uh, 184 likes, I think is about as good as it's going to get today, but thank you everybody for tuning in. Didn't really see any questions there. It just kind of, we've already seen Chris in bed. You have? I've done videos of me sleeping before, but I'm being in bed. Join now! Right now! Go! Go! You, know, you want, want me to ask Arnold to come back? He'd do it. I bet you anything. Arnold will come back. Arnold, are you there? Hello. Wow, I can't believe we got you so quick. Well, you know, Chris, since I became a Nomi, I've had you on speed dial. It's great. Yeah, I know. You keep bothering me for all these crazy things. Have you got Windows 8 straightened out yet, then? I think I did. You hit the little box, and this big soccer game comes up, and I play it. It's great. They have soccer in Windows 8? Yes. You play like a little beach ball and you bounce around. It's, it's fun. It's loud. <laughs> Does it come with sound effects too? Yes. <laughs> what kind of sound effects? USA. 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 Do it. Yeah, but what if you're not from the USA? Oh, you know, if you're a girly man from some other country, whatever. <laughs> well, you heard it here first. Or last. I have, uh, apparently, well, I don't have Arnold on speed dial. He has me on speed dial. <sighs> Just saying. Just saying. I don't know what I'm saying. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in today. Thank you for visiting LockerNome.com, signing up for our email newsletter. It goes out uh, every single weekday with fun little headlines. It's always fun to look forward to the next headline that goes out. Uh, thank you for stopping by my blog, chris.perillo.com. We push content out there as well. Uh, and then subscribing to the Locker Gnome YouTube channel. Uh, we appreciate that, too. Uh, thank you, every one of the Nomies, past, present, and future. Uh, and then, of course, uh, thank you. Uh, for uh, being a part of this greater experience. And it has been a great experience this week. Uh, and uh, next week, people were asking, Chris, are you going to do a TLDR on Friday uh, before you get married? I'm like, uh, yeah. We've, we'll, we'll have most of the stuff prepped. All we're going to do is just get in the car and go. I mean, it's really... Uh, yes, we'll be doing a TLDR. I don't know if I'll be wearing my... Uh, I'll probably be wearing the same thing I'm going to wear for the wedding. Uh, but we'll see on Friday, I guess. We're going to be uh, shopping for that stuff this weekend if I don't think about using something in my closet. I don't know. haven't made up my mind yet. Uh, but we really appreciate uh, uh, all the, the well wishes and the congratulations and, and everything that you guys have been sending along. Thank you. I really do appreciate it. Uh, so we've got a full week of TLDR next week. Uh, we do it every single weekday uh, right around this time. Uh, and thank you for your support, your likes, your tweets, your reshares, your plus ones. I'm not kidding. When you plus one a video, it means a lot. When you publicly plus one it, it means even more. Thank you for doing that. It helps. Every one of you counts. Every continue to do what we're doing for you. Uh, then, you know, getting that kind of reciprocation. We create the content. You share it. It's a good relationship to be in. So thank you for sharing your time with us today. Uh, you can join us in the chat room. It's part of a live video feed that should be going out over the web 24 hours a day, seven days a week at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.